welcome back to d Unboxing. TP-Link makes one of the best Wi-Fi routers and mesh system in the world. And today we're going to review their latest mesh system called TP-Link Deco XE70 Pro Tri-Band Wi-Fi 6E Mesh System. So in this review, we're going to go with the Wi-Fi speed and coverage test to see if TP-Link can deliver the performance they claim. So let's do a quick unboxing. In the box, we have a Wi-Fi 6E mesh system, quick start guides, power adapter for each unit, and an ethernet cable. Now let's look at the specs. Each Deco XE7 Pro node features a dual core processor, four internal antennas with beam forming, OFDMA, mu mmo it is AI powered, 160 MHz channel width, and all the great features of the Wi-Fi 6E, and can connect up to 200 devices. It is a tri-band Wi-Fi 6E mesh system, can cover up to 7200 square feet with all three units. A single unit can cover up to 2900 square feet, and the two units can cover up to 5500 square feet. The mesh system can provide up to 4.9 gigabits per second of wireless bandwidth. And following is a breakdown. 6G supports 2162 megabits per second, 5G band can support up to 1922 megabits per second, and 2.4G band supports up to 574 megabits per second. Now let's look at the ports. We have one 2.5 gig WAN port, two 1 gig LAN ports on each unit, so it can help with the physical network connection alongside with the Wi-Fi coverage if needed. And on the front, we have a nice LED, and in the bottom, we have reset options for each unit. Overall, the build quality is great, and I really like the case design. It is easy to integrate into any home environment, and plenty of ventilations help the system to stay cool under heavy workloads. Now let's do some performance coverage and speed test. So we place the Wi-Fi 6E mesh system in the basement storage room. It has concrete walls around it, and it is in the lowest part of the house. For this test, we're using Intel BE200 Wi-Fi 7 card, which is the fastest Wi-Fi client card available in the market. And it is also backward compatible with Wi-Fi 6E devices. It will help us get the full potential of the TP-Link mesh performance. We're also using a 10 gig Ethernet wired computer as an open speed test server, which is hosted locally to measure the performance of the Wi-Fi routers and mesh systems. But since the TP-Link mesh unit has one gig LAN connection, we will be limited to one gig bandwidth. So keep that in mind. So the total square footage of the house is 5,000 square feet. We tested connection in extreme corners and each floor of the house. We used only 5G connection for the test, since 6G was used as a backhaul connection between each TP-Link Wi-Fi 6E mesh units. We also ran test three times at each location to get the best possible results. So let's review the results. First location, which is within the five feet of the main Wi-Fi 6E mesh unit in the basement, we achieved full one gig for download and one gig for upload Wi-Fi speeds. So basically, we saturated the full 1 gig LAN speed from our open speed test server to the client. Excellent start. Next, we moved all the way to the left corner in the basement. Here we still achieve full close to 1 gig Wi-Fi speed for both downloads and uploads. So basically, we are utilizing the full 1 gig LAN speeds again, even though we have multiple walls in between the client laptop and the main Wi-Fi 6E mesh units. Great results. Next, we moved to the main floor to the left side of the house we achieved 956 megabits per second download and 886 megabits per second upload speeds. These are the one of the best results we have achieved at this location of the house compared to our previous Wi-Fi 6E routers and mesh systems. Next, we move to the right side. Here we achieved 753 megabits per second for download and 922 megabits per second for upload, which again, one of the best scores ever. We also made sure we are connected to the second unit on main floor to see if there is any latency between the main unit and the second unit. TP-Link allows you to either leave the roaming settings for each unit to auto, or you can manually select different units for better Wi-Fi signals and coverage. Moving on to the first floor, we again made sure we are connected to the mesh unit on the main floor by manually switching our client to connect to the main floor unit. Then we moved to the right side and achieved 836 megabits per second for download and 955 megabits per second for upload. Again, the best scores ever at this location. Amazing. And to the left side of the house, we achieved 989 megabits per second for download and 906 megabits per second for upload. Again, the best scores ever at this location. So for the final test, we moved to the garage. Here we achieved 256 megabits per second for download and 320 megabits per second for upload. We have never achieved these numbers in the garage. Amazing results and best ever. In the next test, we're using a 10 GB NAS connected to one GB network port of the Wi-Fi 6E mesh unit and using Wi-Fi 7 card based laptop connected to 5G at 2.4G speed. We ran a file transfer speed test using a 5GB file and we achieved full 1 gig file transfer speed as expected. Now let's talk about setting up TP-Link Wi-Fi 6E mesh system. Setup was an easy three-step process. 
All you have to do is download the TP-Link app to your Android or iOS device. Connect your router to your modem, but if you have Fios with Ethernet connection, you can connect the router's WAN port directly to Ethernet cable and you don't need a modem. Then just follow the instructions and app to complete the setup. There are a lot of settings available to configure using the TP-Link Deco's app. The main page of the app shows you Wi-Fi settings, guest network, then you have the complete internet to mesh unit topology and it shows everything looks good and connection between each mesh units are strong. Also, it shows the number of devices connected to each unit as you can see the numbers on each unit. Also, it shows real-time upload and download bandwidth is being utilized. And if you scroll down, you will see the total number of devices connected. Under Wi-Fi settings, you will see 2.4G and 5G Wi-Fi SSID, its password, and 6G network, its SSID and password. You can also share the information by using the share option. Just remember, your client should be Wi-Fi 6E capable in order to see the 6G connection. Then moving on to the guest network, you can enable the option for guest clients under 2.4G, 5G, or even 6G connections. And under advanced, you can allow local access to your network resources as well. By clicking on the mesh unit, or any unit shows the complete network map, main unit, and one and two mesh unit, with plenty of detailed information about bandwidth utilization and client connected. Clicking on any unit will show the number of devices connected to each mesh system. Either it is Wi-Fi or wired connection. By clicking on a connected client shows its MAC address, IP address, and what Wi-Fi band it is connected to, and its signal strength. And by clicking on the connection preference, allow you to see the current Wi-Fi connection information. As mentioned before, you can either leave the preferred deco option to auto, which is recommended, or you have the option to select specific mesh unit you want to connect to, or preferred Wi-Fi band you want to select. All these great settings can be adjusted for each mesh unit. From the main page, you can select more options, which shows a lot more advanced settings to select. Starting from the top, Deco Lab, Wi-Fi settings, block list for printer controls. You can select a unit you want to block internet access or different settings control for parents to keep an eye on kids or limit their internet access. IoT network for IoT devices, for example, smart lights and cameras. WPS for easy client connect to each mesh unit. Network optimization to analyze the quality of the Wi-Fi network and improve performance. Advanced settings shows operation mode, smart DSCP, fast roaming, and beam forming, and you can enable or disable these options. Last three options to select is a manager, LED control, and system settings to update, reboot, or schedule reboot Deco units. These are all the great options in the TP-Link Deco app for general and advanced users. Let's do the final summary. TP-Link Deco XE70 Pro Tri-Band Wi-Fi 6E Mesh System perform extremely good in this review. The Wi-Fi 6E mesh system offers fastest speed over 5,000 square feet in our test and have full confidence it will perform as good over its listed 7,200 square feet coverage. We were able to get the best possible speed in every corner of the house and even in the garage, which is amazing. The TP-Link Deco app makes managing Wi-Fi 6E mesh system quite easy and lots of great options to control the mesh system along with very capable printer control to control each device in the network. The Wi-Fi 6E mesh is equipped with 2.5G WAN connection so you can take full advantage of the fastest internet speed offered by any internet service provider. And the best part is, it is price point. At only $299 at the time of this review and the release of this unit, it is very much more capable than its competition in every aspect. So if in the market for new mesh system or Wi-Fi router, I highly recommend check out TP-Link's new Deco XE70 Pro Wi-Fi 6E mesh system. Let me know what you guys think of the review in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and sub to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.